Hi, this is Austin Springer, owner of Gladiator MMA. I'm right here doing an interview with Paul Danzer about being a contestant on season 22 of The Ultimate Fighter. I, uh, I wrestled in high school and I didn't quite fulfill the goals that I had had. Uh, after my senior year, I still had a, an itch to compete. I still had goals that I wanted to achieve in doing so. And, um, you know, I wasn't really in the position to go off to high or college and wrestle, so I got into mixed martial arts. What was your first mixed martial arts experience as an amateur? It was terrible. Uh, I got choked out in 28 seconds. I, uh, I went in with just wrestling experience and I shot a good old double leg and he wrapped my neck up in a guillotine and you can see the video where I'm punching him in the, in the ribs, I'm punching him and my arm's getting slower and slower and then all of a sudden it just drops and he lets go and I just fall to the ground and I'm asleep. And, my parents freaked out because they're in the crowd. They didn't know what to expect. It was their first time, you know, being to a live event. So uh, it only got better from there. Yeah. So, and what was the first amateur win? Uh, it was the next fight. Uh, it was actually a really big fight uh, locally there. The guy that I fought is now, uh, I believe, has over 20 fights as a pro. Uh, local fight had a lot of fans there, and I was able to get a TKO in the first round and. A lot better feeling that time around. So what are your aspirations? Be the best 145 pounder in the world. What's it going to take to get there? Dedication. Uh, you know, a little bit of time. Getting the right fights at the right time. Getting the right people to kind of show what my skill set is and what I'm capable of. Are you going to watch the show with friends and family? Yeah, just... yeah. I'm, uh, I'll probably head down to local bar, probably like Heathen Brewing, you know, they show the fights there and probably hang out there with a group of the guys from the gym Wednesday nights and it'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. So how about the TV side of it? Was that, uh, what was that like? Man, it's, uh, it's different, you know, always having a camera there, always, you know, the guys would joke about stuff that they're saying, like, is there a camera around? You know, because they're talking about, you know, say the Reebok deal or whatever it may be and, uh, you know, always having the microphones there, the cameras on, it was, a different experience, you know, you get used to it pretty quick because it's always in your face, but uh, initially it's it's different. So what's your strength as, a, as an MRA player? I think the mental side of it. I think uh, all too often, you know, guys aren't mentally strong enough. They, uh, you know, if you loosen one hair up top, they start doubting themselves. You can just take over from that point, and I think uh, the mental side is probably my best aspect. I'm 